Hi, I'm Chris Moriarty and in this first short video I'm going to show you how to get started with Simi Sports Centre uh, by creating an account or signing in with your existing details. So this is a very simple process. Um, if you're using the system for the first time you will need to create an account. So simply click create account, enter your email then click the create account button and a password will be emailed to your university email account. It is important to use your university email. Do not use a personal email such as Gmail um, because we only make available um, this software to your university email account. So what I'm going to do now is just sign in with my existing details. So you'll see that I'm using the Sheffield Hallam University .ac .uk email extension um, and I'm just entering my password. This takes us straight into Simu Sports Centre's homepage and what you can see is we have a number of menus across here. So we've got some basic instructions and help but I should mention at this stage that as well as the online help there's a much more detailed um, set of guidance which is available in the case study and seminar documentation and um, publication which comes along with Simu Sports Centre. This contains information on how to operate the simulation software. It also contains background information um, on the way that the centre operates including results from the previous year's operation which you can use to compare with the results that you generate through your simulation. As well as this at this point it's also worth mentioning that Peter Taylor um, who's part of the team that's helped us develop this um, simulation has also written a short booklet um, which includes tips on writing objectives programming, pricing, performance management for sports facilities. So this is an accompanying document. So the first task to undertake in the simulation is to set your objectives. So I'm just going to click the objectives tab. And you can see that I've pre-populated the objectives list with a couple of very, very basic objectives. Um, you can add up to 10 objectives, so I can click add another, and another window opens for me to add a new objective if I want to. Um, there are two ways that you can do this as a lecturer. Um, one way that I've done this in the past is I have set the students a certain number of headline objectives if you like um, and the students themselves have then identified some sub-objectives or supporting objectives. The alternative is you can leave students to set their own objectives so as the centre management they decide what they're going to try to achieve and then they enter the decisions within the simulation to try to achieve those objectives. So once you're happy with the objectives that you've set all you need to do is click Save Objectives. You then get a screen telling you that objectives have been saved. I should mention at this stage as well that getting students to read the um, seminar documentation before they begin the simulation is really important because you should be encouraging them to look at previous results, look at information in the seminar documentation to help them understand what objectives might be necessary um, for them to try to implement as managers of the facility. So really that's the end of this sh first short video which tries to introduce you to getting online with Simu Sports Centre and entering objectives. The next short film that we're going to look at um, looks at entering decisions.